Kiki here, welcome back to my channel. We're back with a fun little video today. Have you ever scrolled through Pinterest and saved stuff and saved recipes and said, I'm gonna make that and never actually do? Because same. But lately I've realized I make the same thing over and over and over again. So I took a little gander into my Pinterest and I found some fun little recipes that I have saved probably for years. And I figured I'd try them out and cook them today. Some of them a little questionable. Some of them seem fun though. So I already went shopping. I have all of my ingredients. So let's jump right in. So I'm watching the first video. It doesn't really have a name. It's just like a quesadilla with some tomatoes and spinach. It looks like a fun time. This looks like a quick and easy recipe. So let's get started. I'm gonna call it a tomato quesadilla. Let's get started. Alrighty, so we're starting by slicing up a nice juicy tomato and then I'm cracking two eggs and pouring in some extra egg whites because I thought I needed more, but I didn't. And then I'm taking a bit of ground pepper, mixing that all together. And then I'm going to lay out the tomatoes. I did cut them in half just to spread them out a little bit better than having two big ones. I love putting pink Himalayan sea salt on top of tomatoes. And I'm adding another dash of pepper and then I'm spreading on the egg right here. As you can see, it was a little bit too much, so I should have just stuck with the one or two eggs that I'm putting on my tortilla. And then I tried to do the plate trick they did. I really don't know what the plate was for because I realized it was kind of useless and I should have just flipped it over, but it's okay. And then I'm adding on some mozzarella cheese. This spinach did not do much for me. Probably could have skipped it, but it's okay. My little five pieces of spinach and tossed on my avocado, flipped it over, and I'm gonna melt that all together. And then we're ready to cut this baby in half and see how she tastes. Mm, that was a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I used too much egg. Seemed like too much tomato. And I'm not convinced this is going to be delicious, but let's taste. It's kind of hot. Okay, not bad actually. Let's add some sriracha. I put most of the seasoning onto the tomato and I forgot to put seasoning in the egg and I feel like that's where I'm lacking. That was my bad, but let's get a dab of sriracha. Mm. Not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like if you actually chop up the tomato and the spinach, it will cook a lot better. And I think a bigger pan would have also helped, but not bad. Let's move on to the next. I'm a little bit nervous about this next one. It's a bit intimidating. It is a cucumber sushi boat, but I got all my ingredients and I'm ready to tackle this. They didn't say what they seasoned the shrimp in, so we'll see about that. But I'm excited for this one. It's gonna be good. Let's go. All right, so I have my cucumber here. I'm slicing this in half and I'm only going to do one sushi bow. I don't need two. I'm gonna save the other half of the cucumber for the next recipe, but I'm just gutting that out with a spoon and then I'm popping the shrimp into a pan and just going to season it with some onion powder and a little bit of coconut aminos, which is kind of like soy sauce. I picked that up at Trader Joe's. For the sauce that she used, I'm using about two tablespoons of light mayo, a dash of sriracha, and some sesame oil. I mix that together. And then as far as the white rice, this is basmati rice, I think, or jasmine. This is jasmine rice. I popped in some rice vinegar and some Truvia sugar. And she didn't do this, but I need an extra, I need some extra flavor in my life. So I added some garlic powder and a little bit of salt. And then I'm just taking that rice and popping it right into my little cucumber bowl here. And then I took my shrimp out of the pan and we're just lining these up and it's looking tasty already. Listen, I didn't have that little gadget that she had. So I took a little plastic bag and made a little ghetto thingy. It's all right, we're making do over here. And then I took this seasoning, which is kind of similar to what she had, but there's also seaweed. That was an adventure, but I'm excited to try this. And I've never added rice vinegar to rice, but that is delicious. And I don't know what the Truvia does, but it's like sweet rice and it's delicious, but let's taste. Ooh. 
Let me take another bite. I mean, it's good, but it literally just tastes like cucumber, rice, and shrimp. And the sauce on top. I don't know what the sauce is called, but it does taste like the same sauce you would get at a restaurant. I feel like it would have been just as good just chopping up the cucumber and eating it out of a bowl because I'm kind of, I don't know, I find picking up the cucumber and like, it's a bit much. It is a bit much. So this is cute, but I would totally try this again with just like chopping up the cucumber and mixing it as like a little mini salad or something because biting into this is a bit much, but it's good. It's good but it's decent. Let's move on to the next recipe. Next, we have a smoothie. Apparently, allegedly, this is a detox smoothie to help clear your skin. I cannot confirm nor deny that that's true. Usually when you see stuff like that, it's like clickbaity. Clickbait nonsense aside, it looks like a tasty little smoothie. We got some citrus in there, some grapefruit, lemon, parsley. That one shocked me. I was all up and through the grocery stores looking for parsley. I'm not sure I've ever even had parsley and I definitely have never put it in a smoothie. But today is the day we're trying new things. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. Let's test it. Come on, on to the next recipe. Fresh off the press. Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. Taste itself is not bad, but all I'm getting right now is pulp, like straight up pulp. Pulp, the parsley did not blend that well. Um, the taste isn't too bad. I really only taste the grapefruit and lemon, but I'm just, I'm not crazy about the texture. Now that I'm thinking about it, I never really use pulpy fruits in a smoothie. And that's probably for good reason. I mean, if texture doesn't bother you, this might be okay. I mean, I feel like there's better out there, meh. All right, next. All right, we're back with a fun one. This might be the oldest recipe that I had on my Pinterest. It just always looks so fun to me. So basically it's like a little biscuit waffle pizza. You take one of these grand biscuits or any kind of biscuits and the recipe called for mozzarella and then they put pepperoni. I don't eat pepperoni so I'm just going to do the mozzarella and add a little bit of sauce on the inside and you pop it in the waffle maker. Quick, easy. This better not let me down. Let's go. All right, not gonna lie, kind of wing this one. I was only supposed to use one, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a little sandwich. So I smashed down the first one, nice and flat, added a little bit of pizza sauce, got my mozzarella chub out, placed that right in the middle, and then I added a little more sauce on top, and then I went to put my other one on, and this is where I knew. <laughs> Not looking promising. Oh. So all of my cheese has leaked out. I definitely was only supposed to use one, not two. Well, let's see about this little fella. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like there's like <laughs> no cheese on the inside okay there's a little bit looks delicious 
Mm. It's actually pretty good. I'm not 100% sure where I went wrong. No, like why did all the cheese and sauce leak out? Let's see. Mm. If the actual cheese stayed inside, I think it would have been good. What I will say, if you're looking for like a quick way to make a biscuit, I think popping it into a waffle maker is a brilliant idea because it does cook all the way through and you don't have to fire up the entire oven. All right, but that was the last recipe for today. This was pretty fun. I think I might do a part two and keep trying more of my Pinterest recipes. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please do not forget to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok for some fun. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.